Hi everyone and welcome back to the Maths Man YouTube channel. In today's video we are going to be looking at one of the hardest things to learn in year 6 and it's long division. It is a very good idea before watching this video to have mastered short division so you know exactly what I'm going to be showing you in the demonstrations. Um, excuse me? Uh, excuse me? Hello? Uh, excuse, who are you? I'm the maths man. What do you, no, there's only one maths man. I'm the maths man. So don't think that you're the maths man because I'm the maths man. Can you get out of my classroom, please? Go on, go. Go on, go. <sighs> Let's get to the video. Video, I'm going to be showing you two examples of how to do long division. Long division does take practice, so do not be expecting to learn long division within maybe one day or one lesson. Okay, it can take two, three, four even lessons to get the hand of long division um, fully. Now, if my video does help you on the journey to understanding long division, then I would appreciate a like um, by, by clicking the button down below. But let's get on with it. So long division is used when we are dividing by two digits or more, okay? And especially when we are dividing by two digits and we don't know the times table. So I don't know my 23 times table. If this was dividing by 20, I may know my 20 times table because I can work it out, it's easy numbers in my head. But 23 is a little more difficult. Now the first thing that everybody needs to do before they even slightly consider working out the answer is to take the dividing number and write in rough at the side the times table of this number. So this is the 23 times table. So here I'm going to write the 23 times table at the side. When I'm happy with the numbers that I have written down, now I can actually start the question. If you do not do this, then there is a very good chance that you will get the, answers, the answer wrong because there's too many big numbers to keep inside of your head. So the next thing I do is the same as short division. I ask myself, how many 23s are in nine? Well, I can't do that, so I need to carry this number. Now in short division, I would cross the number out and put it next to the 5 and say how many 23 is in 95? Okay, in long division though, we keep the 9 where it is. And I just pretend the 6 isn't there and I say to myself, how many 23s in 95? Okay, 1, 2, 3, 4. There are 4 23s in 95. Now this next part is where people get confused, okay? And this is what make long, makes long division long. So I had 95 and I found out there was four 23s. So one, two, three, four. I now must take this number away from this, 92. And all I do is 95 take away 92. And that gives me three. So that's the remainder, okay? In short division, I would have this in my head, but in long division, I must write it down. And the next unique thing about long division is that this number now gets brought down and joins the remainder. So can you see how now I have 36? How many 23s in 36? There is one. And then I take away 23. Take away 23. Thirteen remainder. So the answer to this question is 41 and 13 twenty thirds. Okay, now I have made a separate video. If you do not understand how to show your remainder as a fraction or as a decimal, I'll link that video up above so you can check that video out too. 
So in this second example, I have a four digit number and I'm going to divide it by a two digit number using long division. And this is actually the objective for year six. So before I've started the question, what I've done is I've done the 26 times table already. This took me quite a while, but if you don't get it right, you will not get the answer correct, no matter how good everything else is. So how many 26s are in five? I can't do it. Now I'm not going to cross it out and carry it in long division, I'm just gonna keep it there. How many 26s in 55? One, two. Okay, and then I'm gonna take away two 26s, which is 52. So 55, take away 52, leaves me with three remainder. Now I'm going to bring this six down. Okay, see how this six is now being brought down? So now I have 36. How many 26s in 36? Well, there's just one. And if I take away one 26, I am left with 10. And then finally, I need to bring this nine all the way down to the remainder. And I have 109 now. How many 26s in 109? One, two, three, four. And I take away four 26s. And that leaves me with a remainder of five. And then you can choose to present the remainder however you want. I've done the answer as a fraction. So I hope you can see with long multiplication, this is why it's called long multiplication because it's a lot longer. And the main differences between long multiplication and short multiplication is that you can see the taking away and the remainders here in this part. Okay, and the only other real difference is that we don't cross out the numbers and carry them. We just keep them in their place. That's all for this video. I hope it has been helpful for you. As always, if you did enjoy this video and it was useful for you, then smash that like button down below and I'll catch you in the next video.